Hey. So this this first video, I guess, in this series about Kim Banda, I wanted to talk about um, some of the things that are going on in the English speaking um, market where they talk about Palma is this red goddess or um, that she's Satan's wife or something to do with Lucifer or a demon or something. Um, she's not any of those things. Um, first thing is that Pomagir is not one entity. It's not one person. Pomagir is a type of entity or a class. And people say, okay, it has nothing to do with Satan. Then why is she dressed in red? Why is she dressed in black? Um, so sometimes red and gold. Why is there this pitchfork? Oh, it looks satanic. Um, first thing, if you look at tridents, you know, tridents appear um, in many different cultures. Um, tridents are used in African voodoo. Tridents are used um, in Hinduism. Tridents are used by fishermen, Poseidon, in Greek mythology. And in this case, um, yeah, they did kind of borrow from Christian um, Jesuit monk view of what Neshu is. But Pombajir and Eshus are in the same class of spirits in Umbanda and Kimbanda. Um, they use the imagery, but it has nothing really to do with what they are. Um, they can be kind of hot spirits. Um, sometimes their possessions can be almost similar to, I would say, um, Inkisi or um, Petro, Lawa, and Voodoo. Um, so you'll see them. Some people have Palmagiris or Eshus and they have clawed hands behind their back, or they may yell, or they may laugh, and it's almost like a maniacal laugh. Um, but Palmagiris are not evil, and they're not specifically like these really low level spirits either. It's just that they, unlike a lot, they. They have more of an African type of leaning where they'll smoke, they'll drink. Um, they're very flirtatious, almost similar to, let's say, in Haitian voodoo, Gede. Like, Gede are very promiscuous and sexual, and they drink. And um, they do a lot of things. I don't know who this other person who wants to be in the video. But um, um, Palmagira is not a goddess. Palmagira is not a single singular like I said entity and not everyone has one so people who work with Pomagira um, they usually have a Pomagira um, or their Baba has one that they're working with um, boy Nietzsche um, oh I know who you are um, so um, I'm doing this for uh, for English speakers so I'm not going to translate into Portuguese at the moment but um, from my experience is that some people have, um, Palmageras that are really fun and really, um, nice. And then they have other ones who can be kind of scary and some talk, some don't, some dance and some don't. It all depends on the type of spirit. It depends on the medium and how developed they are. Um, Pomagira is a more hot spirit. Um, the name Pomagira, you know, it means dove turning, but Pomba is a dove and Jira means turn, but Jira is also like the, the party or festa in Umanda. Um, it also sounds like um, Bumbo and Gila, which is an Inkisi that deals with the crossroads from Kondomla and Gola. And, and then we have the names like Eshus that come from um, um, Ketu, it sounds kind of very confusing, but these are just names. These are names for different types of spirits. Everything in Umbanda and Kimbanda are just names to, um, delineate vibration, um, what type of offerings they have, what kind of colors and, um, how they work. So one of the most famous Palmageras usually have like a Maria name. So you have Maria Pagilla, you have... Maria Molambo, Maria Navaya, um, um, Maria Josa, um, Josa Vermeja, Josa Caveira. Um, these are all different types of palmagiras that don't, um, 
they have Pamajira in front of her name. Sometimes you'll just say it by themselves. So let's just say Maria Pajia because she's a well-known Pamajira. Um, but those are just types of Pamajira. So Maria, I, a Pamajira that ha uses that name behaves in a certain type of way. A Pamajira Sigana kind of is in between the lane of the Sigano spirits or the gypsy spirits. And then, okay, I'll put, add someone in, okay. See if this works. Never done this before. So, hello. Hello. Hey. Um. Did you have something to add? Hmm. Did you just want to be part of the video or? So, um, I usually don't add people to the video, but some, someone just wanted to be a part of it. Um, so back to Pomegir. Um, Pomegirs are, they're, they have different names and they're different titles. And that tells, um, how they're going to act. Palm, um, Pomegira Sagana acts very different than, um, Pomegira Navaya. Nav um, some of the Pomegiras usually have weapons. They carry knives, daggers. Navaya carries a razor. Um, it just kind of shows um, how what type of work they do and you know how tough they are. Um, the offerings are similar to Eshu's. Um, things called pade, which is basically cassava flour mixed with dende or palm oil. Um, flower, uh, roses, hosas, or um, cigarettes, whereas Eshu's will um, smoke cigars. They like wine, champagne. Um, so nothing to do with this gothic stuff. And, and what I was wanted to talk about earlier is that um, this whole gothic and Klepothic and Goetia mixed in Kambanda, Luciferian Kambanda, this really isn't that old. And it really started around, let's say, 1950s because the oldest Portuguese book I could find where it's... Um, documents in 1953 um, by I think Aluzio Fontanelle and he had a correspondence with um, different correspondence with different Pomegeras and Clipothic spirits or Goetic spirits and that was um, what people go by and it's not really something that is true because these are all different spirits um, people develop these spirits they work with these spirits. Um, obviously, it deals with the crossroads, but um, nothing too much to deal with the devil. Um, nothing too much to deal with um, anything about other than what they are. So um, I will talk more about specific popular pomegranates in other videos. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. For Sadavath.